Hey YouTube, Zeho here with a special video for you guys. Now, I would be doing this off uh, my phone, but I don't know, or can't, doing the camera off my phone, but I don't know how to do that, so I'm going to do it off my laptop. This video is going to be the similarities between WWE, I mean, yeah, WWE and TNA. The one, one thing that I have to say before I start saying the similarities is that if there's more similarities now, and and the fans are even noticing it, then Dixie Carter needs to stop taking ideas that WWE did or has done in the past and trying to make it seem like she's did it herself. That's all I have to say about that. Now, the similarities. One similarity is AJ Styles won the world title at Bound for Glory. He left with the title. And then they had the, uh, what was it, the tournament to see who would become the new world champion. Magnus won that due to the help of Dixie Carter. Now, Tina has that tournament. Now, WWE, a couple years ago, Seam Punk left after he faced Cena at Money in the Bank. He left with the title, and then they had a tournament for that. So, the, the, the first similarity was AJ or yeah, AJ Styles winning the world title, leaving Dixie having the eight. Uh, I forget how many people were in that tournament. The tournament for to see who become the world champion. Magnus won the world champion. CM Punk Lee left a few years ago before eight, before TNA did it, and John Cena won the tournament after beating Rey Mysterio. I think it was. Yeah, I think, yeah, it was after beating Rey Mysterio. But, so that's the sim one similarity. The second similarity is there's in TNA, or in TNA, TNA, or I mean, I'm going to go with WWE. Let me start with WWE first. I'm sorry. WWE. AJ Lee, which who is the Divas Champion, has 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 a bodyguard, I would say, Tamina Snuka. Now TNA a few months ago started Gail Kim as the Knockouts Champion with Lady Tapa. So there's a big similarity there between those two. The third similarity is. The Aces and Eights and the Nexus. The Nexus was before the Aces and Eights. Like, way before. Nexus took out everybody in their path. Nothing. Aces and Eights, same thing. But Aces and Eights was under, were under masks and they weren't rookies. There were a bunch of angry rookies, I should call them. Now... Yeah. The fourth similarity is Dixie Carter. That final match, even though it didn't have in a match, I'm just gonna say it's the last turn. It wasn't in the because WWE didn't. This didn't happen in WWE. But Dixie Carter herself screwed Jeff Hardy out of being the world TNA world champion. Now, in WWE, Triple H screwed Daniel Bryan out of being the world champion. Even though it wasn't the, like the same ma the same match thing, but whatever. 
Now, I, there's just, it's mind-boggling on how, how much you see what, you see what goes on in WWE, then a couple weeks later, hmm, happens, it happens the same thing just with different wrestlers on TNA. And TNA was is a good thing, but they've slowly went from being this company ran by the founder Jeff Jarrett to being Dixie Carter's amusement park. I'm gonna call it that because just like. It went from being Vince McMahon's WWE to Triple H's and Stephanie McMahon's show. And I mean, I have to give props to Triple H and Steph because they have created controversy on what I belief. But Dixie Carter is starting to become Stephanie McMahon in a sense that if Dixie doesn't get what she wants, she find, she demands people to to attack a certain person. Just like Stephanie McMahon before they saw, saw the light, I guess, used the shield as or shield and Big Show because that was before, before Big Show was back. Use those four men to attack everybody. Now, I'm not saying that TNA and WWE are exactly the same. I'm just saying there's oddly similar is that WWE does this few year does something a few years back. TNA has to do it now, thinking that they do it right. So, so many few similarities. Um, yeah. But uh, there. Before I end this video, I want to send my thoughts and prayers to this. I don't know if you'll get offended by this. The oldest living WWE Hall of Famer, Mae Young. Because this is off topic from what I was talking about before. Because the reason why I'm saying my thoughts and prayers brought to her is because what from what I've heard, this is not. I this is from what I've just heard. She was on life support. They took her off life support, and now she's. It's just time will tell. Because she's a great lady. But, yeah. So, there is the similarities between WWE and TNA. If you have any more, if you, if any of you guys thinks about any other or can think of any other similarities comment below and I will read them because hey I love comments from people I'll read them below I'll read them after when you guys comment and I'll hopefully comment back to you guys if I don't I'm sorry you can message me here on YouTube um So I will see you guys in the next video. Alright. Peace.